Well, there's people on the team call me Terrell Pryor Newton. They sound a mixture between Terrell Pryor and Cam Newton. So, I mean, I want to be Michael Vick. Well, it'd be better than him, but that's what I'm striving for. Grew up at eight, I knew how to play football. So I just love the game and it means so much to me. Coming out of high school, I, I was just doing what I had to do just on the field that got me here. But here is like, it's a business, it's not a game anymore. My biggest challenge, the playbook. That, that's a, that's crazy, 817 plays. And as a freshman, you get overwhelmed because you're trying to just recognize them. Then you got to worry about formations. <laughs> quarterback is the man of the team. Everybody knows it. When the chips are down, who do they look for the quarterback? If you win, you get the glory. If you lose, you get the criticism. So you got to be a strong player to play that position. It's like a chip on my shoulder every time I go out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm always laughing, but when it's time for business, it's time for business. And my family definitely needs me to do this. My mom died last year, January 31st. My dad died this year, February 1st, and they died a year and a day apart. First, my mom, I just went crazy. Like, the only way I did was football and basketball. Like, I went crazy, couldn't, like, just function. And once I was on the field playing ball and basketball, I was good. Then when my dad passed, I was just like, damn, this again? That's crazy. He passed away the day I was in school, then the next day I was supposed to sign, which was on February 2nd. He wanted me to go to Syracuse, he wanted me to go to D1. That was his whole issue, that's why he put me in my high school. They just didn't get to see me graduate or get to see me enroll into Syracuse, so it means a lot to me. When you hear about it, you say, damn, I don't know what I would do if that happened to you, and it happened to me. So I just had to keep pushing, because uh, you, it's a sense of urgency that you just got to push yourself through it out, throughout everything because it helps you grow up. It's not just, oh, um, I don't know what to do now. Like, you go crazy. It helps you grow up because my mom helped me with a lot. Now I got to do things on my own. I got to make decisions for myself because if I mess up, then I'm going to get the consequence. Like, pe people, people think, like, st like, student athletes get it easy, but we really got the worst because like, y'all could go home and do your work whenever you want, go out at night, and then wake up in the morning and do it all over again. We got to learn how to budget our time, work out, and everything. So, I mean, it's kind of, it got, it got us good with the teachers, but sometimes they also has it bad because a lot of teachers don't like football players because they're rowdy, they lazy. That's what happened before Coach Marone came. Really, we, really, we always doing football, like, it's fun to do other things, like go to class, chill, party, but like, football is your life. Like I said, it's a business, because if you're not cutting it, they'll get somebody else who is. So, like, you can't, like, this is my life. The other things I do are hobbies now. It's like, the football field is where I live, but it's not the center of my universe, because the center of my universe is my family, and I do that for them, but the football field is, like, basically my home, my second home. I definitely feel most comfortable with it. Like, it's like a feeling like you get when you, been gone forever and you come back home and you just happy like that's how it is so every day I look at it as that I've been gone now I need to come back start a new world ten years from now what what if I told you to be on the cover of Madden I would believe it I would definitely believe it because I just Damn, that's damn, that's crazy. I really want to be on the cover of Madden too. But the only problem is the Madden curse. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt.